between Bruce Lee and Makwan Amir Khan. So another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because it's a little boy. He spent his life on the wrestling match. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus. The idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and we'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Turku, Finland, Mach 1, Mr. Finland, Amirkani. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outside. Nice straight punch. Here's the kick blocked by Makwan Amir Khan. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna now. The guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, nice. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Ooh, 
pull right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. And he landed the right hand there. Close guard. Well, any top fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Makwan Amir Khan. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the fit. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Amir Khani. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. All right. Same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is underway. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Over and over, he's landing the big body kicks. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Makwan Amir Khani. Punch is blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo here, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Three minutes remain in the rush. Amir Khani's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Kick to the body by Lee. Straight punch lands. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And they separate. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, a huge block there. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Oh, he missed with that right hand. Straight to the body there by Lee. Amir Khani's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Round three next. Weitzel was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Makwan Amir Khan. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Able to land there with the straight left. Just a slip there. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Amir Khani's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Three minutes. Oh, going for the takedown here. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. They continue to exchange. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Plus right hand is true. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice leg kick lands. Twenty seconds left. Liver kick. Final seconds here. Beautiful strike. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, Tom. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs. How's his opponent still standing? He's out! Wow! Wow! What a performance! Pinpoint.
one-point strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 23 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Well, we congratulate him on a huge...